Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Hi guys, um, this is so, okay, this is so crazy. Uh, hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, if you guys are new here, my name is Ariel. I am an American K-pop stan. I... Oh my god, this is like, this is like, oh, this is so weird, okay. I know, okay, I've been lying. Okay, 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 let me just, okay, I've been lying to y'all, and I'm so sorry. It's been honestly so hard, like, having to lie to all of y'all, but, like, where's my Oscar, honestly? Because you guys have been legitimately asking me every single day, Ariel, when are you going back to Korea? Ariel, when are you going back to Korea? And in the back of my mind, I'm like, in a few months, but I'm always like, oh, you know, like, you know, like, next year or whatever. No! No, no, no. This whole time, I have literally been applying to school in Korea, and it's, like, absolutely insane to think about and just to go over and everything. But, yeah, you guys, I'm moving back to Korea. I'm moving back to Seoul. It is so, so, so crazy. I'm going to go over everything kind of a little bit in detail in this video. And then, also, I did do a video on the whole application process, which will be coming out super soon after this one. So, stay tuned for that as well. If you guys have specific questions on, like, the whole application process, wait to ask them until that video goes up. And, honestly, if you guys have not subscribed yet already, I am literally moving to Korea, and I'm going to be giving you guys so much Korean content. I am so excited. So definitely, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't. But I'm moving to Seoul again. Literally so crazy. If you guys don't know, I used to live in Korea for about four months. I studied abroad there um, and I went to Sogang University and it was so, so much fun. I really enjoyed it. However, the past couple months and just the past year in general has been really bad for me. If you guys do not know, I was supposed to go back to Korea for spring 2020, but it was canceled due to COVID. And honestly, I had to take a semester off of college. I just transferred to a new school and I've just been pretty miserable. Like, I've been trying to show you guys, like, how happy I am and how appreciative I am, you know, to be healthy, to be, you know, enjoying K-pop and to be collecting and all of that stuff. But in the back of my mind, I've been really miserable uh, with school and with online school and just the whole situation, honestly. And you guys know, the only thing I really want to do is just go back to Korea because I had such a lovely time in Seoul last time. So I actually was watching a YouTube video one afternoon and I was like, oh my god, like, I saw this girl who talked about applying to Korean language school and I was like, oh, like, I never really thought about going to language school I only really thought about going to like exchange to like actually like you know pursue my business major abroad in Korea but this girl was talking about how she found this website that she was really uh like it was really helpful to her and she applied and she went to language school because she took this semester off and went to language school in Korea and I was like that sounds so cool that sounds like something I would really be interested in doing so I actually started researching that website and you know, a few weeks later, I was applying to language school and then I got in. So, super, super crazy. Very, very quick pace. But I did apply to language school. I will be going to Dongguk University, which is a little bit farther away from Sogang. And I will be, like, only taking Korean classes. So, I'm going to be learning Hangul and, like, the Korean language for five days a week for four hours a day. It's gonna be very intensive, but I'm super excited to get more fluent in Korean because you guys know I can speak a little bit of Korean, but I really want to learn more. And I'm just overall so excited to just be back in Seoul. Overall, I'm just so excited. I'm going to be leaving at the beginning of March. I do have to do the two week quarantine because of COVID and then I will be at the university learning until about the beginning of June. So right now I am scheduled and slotted in to do three months. However, I do in the back of my mind know that if I want to continue Continue my studies I can extend my stay once I'm there for right now it's only for three months so it's not a permanent move but overall I'm just so overjoyed to be leaving the country and to be going to Korea so yeah I am so so excited um I am not taking a leave of absence from my university as well I want to let you guys know I still will be doing online school just from Korea um I'm going to be doing less classes though uh, usually I take five but I'm probably only gonna take two or three while I'm in Korea yeah so I'm leaving at the beginning of March and I'm going to be moving to Seoul I'm so excited to take you guys with me on this journey you know, packing, traveling through the pandemic, vlogs in Seoul, because honestly, Korea is doing way better than we are for COVID. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking, Ariel, why are you leaving now when COVID is still a thing? Honestly, quite truthfully, it's not getting better anywhere. And like, honestly, I feel like for me and for my mental health and for what I want to do with my life, like if I don't leave now, then like, what's the point? Like, I feel like last year when it came down to leaving for Korea, it wasn't the right choice at that time to go to Seoul because we did not know what COVID was. We didn't know really, like I was supposed to leave last February for anybody who's wondering. So like last February, February 2020, we didn't really have a handle on the situation and what it was. And then obviously we were supposed to be on quarantine for a month and now we're still literally in quarantine. But overall, I think my family and I kind of came to the realization that like, it's not good in America. Like my my town right now, my town of 10,000 people in a small state in America, 
is in the red. It has over 300 cases right now. Like, why not go? You know what I mean? Why not? We understand COVID. Obviously, the vaccine has been rolled out. It hasn't been rolled out to, like, me or anything. I'm not gonna get the vaccine, I don't think, anytime soon. But, yeah, I mean, we know what steps I have to take to get there. I will have to quarantine for two weeks. But I think that's a risk, honestly, that I'm willing to take now because... We know a little bit more about the situation and we know kind of how to handle COVID. Obviously staying distant, keeping your hands washed, wearing your mask. Like, I'm comfortable with all of that. So yeah, super, super, super crazy. I am going to Tonguk University for three months. I am so, so, so excited to take you guys on this journey with me. I have been waiting and like not being able to tell you guys this has been really hard for me because the whole application process, though it was quite like quick, it was kind of like a lot and very stressful, but Overall, like I said, I'm just so overjoyed. This is basically the reason why I want to downsize my K-pop collection. A lot of you guys have been thinking that I've been move I'm going to be moving out. But yeah, I'm moving out, but to Korea. So yeah, I am going to be downsizing my K-pop collection because I want to raise funds to have enough money to, you know, do the things I want to do in Seoul. I really want to do a lot of like traveling and sightseeing because I didn't really do that when I was in Korea last time. So that's my big goal is to just do more sightseeing, traveling, exploring Korea. I'm so excited. And a lot of you guys are gonna be asking about the visa. I actually don't need a visa to go to Korea right now because I am technically going for less than 90 days. So as an American citizen, um, I don't need a visa to be in Korea for less than 90 days however if I do extend my stay to stay for another semester at Dongguk um, I can apply for a visa while I'm there the website I went through by the way is called Google Hanguk I'm gonna link it down below they have been the most help and they were the people who I went through to apply to Dongguk University and they were so sweet and like so so on top of their emails and like responded so quickly and like highly highly recommend if you guys want to apply to language school like they were so so good and also on their website they do have a few universities that you can apply to but I personally applied to Dongguk because the girls whose YouTube channel I watched as she went there and she said that she enjoyed it so I was like alright I'm going but yeah I am so excited you guys so excited to take you on this journey and I cannot wait to be back in Seoul eating some chicken oh my god also about keto a lot of you guys know I'm on the keto diet I'm going to be stopping keto at the end of February so I will not be on keto in Korea there's no way there's no way but yeah I am so 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 excited so pumped so ready for all the content you guys are going to be getting I know a lot of you guys have been curious why I've been kind of switching to more vlogging it's because I want to start getting more comfortable and in the routine of vlogging and like editing vlogs so that when I'm in Korea I can obviously edit a lot of vlogs for you guys I do think it's going to be difficult I don't think it's going to be easy to you know go into intensive language learning however I'm so excited and overjoyed you guys know I've been really interested in learning Korean because I'm so crap at it I'm so terrible and I just want to learn and just explore and be in person in school you know my, my, my language school is going to be in person obviously we'll be wearing our masks but like that to me is so worth it and overall the cost of tuition plus the cost of the dorm plus the cost of quarantine plus the cost of airfare it's going to be cheaper than one semester in America. So overall, there were literally so many pros and only a few cons that I was like to my parents, you know, I want to make this decision for myself. I'm 20 years old. I want to go. And they 100% supported me. So yeah, I'm going to school. It's so crazy. Um, But yeah, I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to take you guys along on this journey. Like I said, it's so crazy how life changes so quickly. I... You guys know I've been kind of in a rut where I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, didn't know what I wanted to do, and then I just saw this YouTube video one day and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna apply to language school because why not? Honestly, why not go to Korea and be where I want to be and do what I want to do and just be happy? So I am, like I said, still doing my business degree at my home university. I will just be doing it from Korea because they are still online for spring semester. And none of the credits that I will be taking at language school will count towards my degree in America because technically you're not supposed to be going abroad because technically the university is still shut down. But I don't care about that. Um, I'm really excited to be going. So yeah, I'm leaving in March. <laughs> and I'll be back uh, early June or later. We don't know. And I'm going to be taking you guys along the whole journey. Like I said, if you guys have specific questions about the whole application and the whole process, please wait because I have a video coming about the whole application process. But just know that overall, I am so, so, so excited. I am so ready for this journey. And I literally can't wait and I've been dying to tell you guys so filming this video I'm not gonna post this video like I'm filming it prematurely but I'm not gonna post the video probably until like January it's still December right now but overall I'm just so 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 happy and so excited to tell you guys and to just share this experience with you guys so yeah I love you guys so so much if you guys have not subscribed and you're gonna get excited for all the Korea content I have you better subscribe right now I can't wait to bring you guys along with this journey and I'm just so so excited so yeah Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Get ready for Korea content coming super, super soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I'm so excited. Mwah.